We have a special bird here today. It's a 1957 Thunderbird, uh, very high quality, older restoration, rare colors. This is the factory combination gunmetal gray with the red interior. But what makes this one extra special is the way uh, they've upgraded it to drive more safely, more reliably, more comfortably. It has a modern rack and pinion power steering system. It has upgraded disc brakes with a dual reservoir master cylinder. They are power brakes. There's a vintage air, AC, and heat system in here. Uh, the radiator and, and cooling system was upgraded to compensate for the air conditioning. Uh, radial white wall tires. And if you've ever gotten into a 57 T-Bird, you know it's not easy. You got that big steering wheel, you got to slide in under the wheel, there's not a lot of room. Well, this has a smaller steering wheel because of the power steering. You don't need that big wheel for leverage, so it has a smaller wheel and it's on a tilt column. They didn't make tilt columns in these. So someone really went out of their way uh, to give it the modern upgrades that just make it a whole lot more enjoyable of a car. And I tell you what, I drove this car. It's just smooth. You just, you just want to be in it all day long. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find price tags on this one and about 200 other collector cars that are all for sale. And there's also a monthly finance option with each one of them. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. It's an older restoration. I, I actually sold this car about four or five years ago. Uh, the car was born in Los Angeles, California. I sold it to a guy in California. We just bought the car back or took it on trade, I think. Uh, and he said he really enjoyed the car while he owned it. The body is in excellent shape. This hood has to fit all the way around. It lines up nicely, square and flush, straight. The doors fit better than they probably did new. Someone probably worked the doors to get them to fit nicer. Shut real nice. Body is excellent. 57, had these little tail fins. All this is really looking nice. The body's in excellent shape. Fender skirts fit nicely. All this is real good. Does have a crack right here. We'll talk about the paint in a minute, but the body is looking real nice. This door sticks out a little bit. This is more typical T-Bird. Still shuts real nice, opens easily. All nice, clean, straight body. I think this car was restored back in the 80s. It is repainted its original gunmetal gray color. And standing here, it looks beautiful. But it's driver quality. When you get up on it, there's little tiny crow's feet checking, just little crackling. It was that way when I bought it five years ago, and I overlooked it because the rest of the car is so nice. And again, it doesn't jump out at you, but it's there. You'll know it's there. So there's little crackling in the paint. It is laid out evenly. It's a metal flake paint. <clears throat> and it's polished smooth and glossy. There's a little crack in the paint right there. And the uh, turntable was going around faster than I was keeping up with it. There's some little pimpling in the paint right there. So again, an older restoration. You don't have to worry. The paint's not going to fall off tomorrow. Nothing like that. It's been this way for years looks great chrome <clears throat> sparkling all this is shiny the trim around the windows all shiny but none of it's pristine 57 has these little glass wing windows the mirrors look like new door handles are really nice all this stuff is looking good this has scratches on it from putting the top in uh, also, there's marks in the paint. All Corvettes and Thunderbirds get that. The top, the rubber sits on the paint. Not much you can do. It does leave some marks there. Back bumper, like the paint job, it's more than adequate. It's shiny. It's straight. It's not new. The Thunderbird emblem, tail lights, they do look like new. All the trim on the skirts is nice and shiny. There's some little chipping in the paint right there. Correct style hubcaps radial white wall tires windshields nice and clear looks like new the rubber seal is excellent front bumper like the back bumper the six or seven uh, it's straight and shiny and very adequate 
They've upgraded the headlights too. These are halogen headlights. I'm sure they're much brighter than the originals. Actual Ram Air Scoop. These are fun little sports cars, even back in the day. Uh, so now let's open it up. I got a lot more to show you. All right, here's the inside of the trunk compartment underneath, painted up, has a sticker, looks good. Weather strip is soft. Inside's real nice and clean. It has the complete plaid liner kit, uh, white wall spare on a painted rim with the complete jack assembly. All looks good. It has some fender covers uh, if you're working on the engine, and it comes with a car cover. <coughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Now, we didn't talk too much about the tops real quick. The convertible top is behind the seat. This is an aftermarket uh, top. It's actually a dark blue canvas, so it is pretty rich looking. Uh, this comes up, two people, you swing it out and you clamp it down and there's your soft top. So the door jams are painted nice, weather strips are replaced. And again, I'm saying nice, but it's a 20, 30 year old restoration. Door panels are looking real sharp. Has a little th Thunderbird logos embossed into it. Power windows and power seat from the factory. Now the dash area, all nice and clean. Uh, it has this cool machine turned trim, it has a tachometer, and that's all factory stuff. Clock is right just but twice a day. Retro stereo with an auxiliary plug. You can put your plug your favorite tunes in. Uh, all nice and clean. The dash pad fits real nice. Now the AC vents are neatly mounted below the dash here. There is a scratch in the paint right there. So another upgrade down on the floor. We have these nice Lloyd's uh, Thunderbird floor mats over the nice red carpet. Seats been recushioned and upholstered. They've added seat belts. Those were not required back in the day. And this is one of the best parts about it. Again, if you've ever gotten in a T-Bird, this is the original style wheel, but the original would have been this big. And you have to slide your leg. There's a way you have to get in a T-Bird. As we get a little older, a little larger, it's a little harder to do. So this is a tilt column, which Thunderbirds, this is the only one I've ever seen in a Thunderbird, makes it much easier to get in and out of this car. So just inside alone, we got seat belts, stereo, air condition, smaller tilt wheel. Radial tires is an upgrade. So that's a 312 motor. It has the engine dress-up kit, which is a beautiful chrome air cleaner, polished aluminum valve covers. Uh, so the motor stock runs just smooth as can be. Now some of the upgrades, it has a factory power brakes, but it is upgraded to a dual reservoir instead of the single. Now you have front and back brakes separately. Uh, battery has a disconnect switch. So when you park it, you can disconnect it. It's all mounted properly, covers chrome. Then this power steering is all custom. It's a uh, modern, uh, the billet reservoir, rack and pinion steering system. Upgraded aluminum radiator and a seven blade fan to keep the engine running cool. You have the washer fluid bag. That's just a cool novelty. air conditioning system uh, that that's all modern and upgraded uh, generator and the correct markings are on different things there's probably an alternator inside the, the generator housing I'm gonna guess and all this is still very nice and clean they tried to keep the original vibe you know the cloth wrapped choke tube but again they, they neatly installed all these nice modern upgrades well, Michael's going to take you and show you what she's got.
All right, everybody. Top is down. Time to go for a cruise. What a nicely upgraded Thunderbird we have here. It's got the rack and pinion, steering, power steering, power disc brakes, air conditioning. I mean, this one really has it all. If you want to put some miles on a car like this, absolutely, it's a good one to do it in. Radios in working condition. Ever love Mary too much? Just a really, really nice, you can see kind of here how the easy the steering is. It just feels great, very responsive. Disc brakes feel good. Stops real nice and smooth there. So we got some cars here. Well, let's not forget the best options of this car. We got power four-way seat. So the back tips also. And then it's got power windows. Another huge deal. So this is just a really, really nice car to drive. Got lots of modern amenities. Again, uh, vintage air system as well. So, and yeah, let's see what she's got. All right, and just like that, up to speed, no problems at all. Smooth acceleration out of that 312 V8. Absolute great cruising car. Really do love this one. If you want to come test drive it yourself, you are more than welcome to do so. Come visit us in Volo, Illinois. We're about an hour drive outside of Chicago, about 30 minutes outside of O'Hare International Airport. Just call, contact one of our consultants by phone or email. Joey or Eric will be more than happy to help you. And yeah, definitely recommend the test drive though because it's a heck of a lot of fun. If you don't have time to fly in or for any of that, you can absolutely just click the Buy It Now button. We can ship it anywhere in the world. Or if you feel you need another opinion, you're more than welcome to hire a third-party inspector as well. They can come out and give you a full, thorough report on it. But as I see it, it's a fine vehicle, and you're absolutely going to love it. Oh, one more thing I forgot to say as far as the drivability and comfort. Tilt steering wheel. Very, very nice option on these uh, on these T-Birds because, you know, the doors are a little tight. So it makes it super easy to get in and out of. Check out all the pictures, details, and descriptions on volocars.com. I mentioned this is the original color. The uh, car was sold new in Los Angeles. We know that because we have the original window sticker. There's a picture of it on our website. So underneath the car is real nice and clean and solid. Uh, floors, braces, all that looks real good. Front end looks like it was all rebuilt. Matter of fact, the uh, previous owner that I just got the car back from had the front end all, all rebuilt. That's why it all looks so new. And under the cars where you'll find the rack and pinion steering, disc brakes in front, they're still drum and back, fuel tank, exhaust, everything looks clean and proper under this car. Um, air shocks in the back. So a lot more than what meets the eye here compared to the other Thunderbirds. A lot of fantastic options. And then I almost forgot about the hardtop. I just pulled it in here. Uh, Porthole, hardtop, painted, very nice shape. There's pictures of the soft top on the car and pictures of the hard top on the car on our website, which is volocars.com. That's where you will go to talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. 
like how to get this delivered to your driveway and how to get it financed. Thanks for watching.